What's up guys? Uh, welcome to another episode of my most neglected series, um, <laughs> How to Understand Poetry. Today I'm doing a poem by Langleaf. She's awesome. I've been checking her out. Um, I used to be big in the Tumblr poetry scene when it was cool. And she, that's where I discovered her. Little, no, little to be known later on. She's super awesome. So I'm going to do her poem called Time. Um, and the poem goes like this. I'll read it all the way through first, and then I'm going to go through it. I picked this poem because I love time, you know. Uh, if you know me, I write about it all the time, and <laughs> and I love time. So I'm going to read this poem by Langleaf. You were the one I most... Oh, sorry. I'm already messing it up. You were the one I wanted most to stay, but time could not be kept at bay. The more it goes... The more it's gone, the more it takes away. So if you want to read that poem, you can just probably just type in time and then Langleaf. Um, I'm reading it off of Google Images. This is from her book, Love and Misadventures. Um, so let's read it again and uh, go through it. So I'm, I'm just, uh, I just give a casual um, explanation of what I think the poem is about as a poet I think I you know I might have some insight and hopefully I let you know that it's not that hard to understand poetry so let's go through this time you were the one I wanted most to stay that's cool it's cool but it also makes me think you were the one I wanted most to say if I was reading this as a boyfriend and this is how I go through poems I think about how it makes me feel um, and that's how I think you should understand poetry. Put yourself in it if you can. If not, I think it's a lot of its feelings. But anyway, you were the one I wanted most to stay. Okay, so of your many, <laughs> you wanted me most to stay. Not that you did anything. So I kind of take both sides on that. But time could not be kept at bay. I like that. I think that's pretty simple, straightforward. Time couldn't be stopped, couldn't be kept at bay. If you haven't heard that phrase before, kept at bay. I mean, something you can't keep from happening. That's interesting. I wonder where that comes from, kept at bay. But anyway, and then the last line goes, the more it goes, the more it's gone, the more it takes away. And that might be kind of hard to understand, right? It's, when we're talking about time, the more it goes, the more it's gone, the more it takes away. That's cool. I just think about, you know, obviously as time continues, um, I've never really thought about it like that, but that's really cool. You know, as time continues, the more of it is just gone. The more it, it goes, the more it's gone. Because if it's going, all it's doing is passing us. Um, if we think about it as a directional thing, the future is always there for us. But the past is uh, always getting bigger, the more it's gone. I wonder if that's true, though. Maybe the more it goes, the more we get. Maybe the more uh, <laughs> time goes... I'm, just thinking analyzing but it makes sense to me the more it goes the more it's gone and then the more it takes away is really cool you see time is this thing that is not just passing you but it's like stripping things away which I don't really think that's how it works if time does take things away that means they're, they're temporary right so maybe Langleaf <laughs> that was the way it was supposed to go I don't know well, this was fun this is the first time I did someone else's poem um, if you have any suggestions for any poems I should do, go ahead and comment them or inbox me or whatever. Talk to me. Let me know. Um, and thank you for watching this episode of How to Understand Poetry with me, Kenyo. Definitely subscribe and like and check me out on all the other social medias too. Let's be best friends. I have time to respond to you in between, you know, doing all my other fun stuff. So... See you later.